Hi everyone, so I've been to three Justin Bieber's by myself concert and one illustrated through my eyes while giving a thing and then I go, Gini Liga Ho, because you know what? I knew we had a moment. And everyone knows I hate spicy food, but for some weird reason I still carry it in my bag because I just really like the taste of it. That's what you know. And I know this sounds super gross, but watching Dr. Fipple Popper, if so, Satisfied for me. Now, call me spontaneous because I stayed at one of the most haunted hotels in California and it was so creepy because the volume of the TV kept going up and down the whole night. It was so scary. And during the pandemic, I learned how to make kare kare and it was so delicious. That's all I Your first question, Katrina, is in today's world, someone or some group often claims to be offended by something. Do you think that the world has become too politically correct and too sensitive? Hello? Yes. Hi. I don't think that the world has become politically correct. I think that what's going on right now is the capital culture that we need to get rid of. I feel like that is a modern day of bullying, and I also feel that we need to stop capital culture because it's as if we're judging people based off of um, what their opinions are. If it's opposing to ours, all of a sudden, it feels like it's wrong. And cancel culture needs to disappear because it's as if we lost empathy for the people. The Philippines and the Vatican are the only two sovereign states that prohibit divorce. Are you in favor or against legalizing divorce in the Philippines? I have been asked this when I was 18, and I still stand by what I think from before versus now, which is as much as we want to stay committed to the person that we marry, we can't always decide whether or not they want to stay together. I know that married people stay together and try to work it out, but at the same time, we need to respect if they are no longer in love or if they choose better things that's better for their families and their children. How has the pandemic challenged you? It challenged me in multiple ways. I mean, from having to go to school full-time and working full-time while trying to support my family, having to focus on school and from home, it, it teaches us responsibility. 